Welcome back to No Code Devs. One year ago, we created this video, which showed you how to build a fully automated Amazon affiliate store. We built a workflow using Browse AI, Softer, Airtable, and Zapier to scrape products from Amazon and then publish them on a front end where users could buy your products. But today, we're gonna redo this video and show you how to accomplish this and so much more using a single tool. You'll be able to import products directly from Amazon and other platforms, build your front end, build your back end, manage your analytics, and do so much with AI, including automatic blog posts based on the products in your store. You'll go from zero to one in a matter of about 20 minutes, and you can even make your first sale on day one. This is a super cool tutorial, it's beginner friendly, it's completely no code, and I'm excited to show you how to do it. If you like this video, be sure to push the like button, comment with any questions, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos like this one. Okay, let's dive in and show you how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Just as a recap, we're gonna be building a fully automated Amazon affiliate store from scratch. We did do this tutorial previously with another set of tools, but today we're gonna to be showcasing a brand new tool that allows you to build this all in one place, which is super exciting. So we're gonna be taking a look at freshstore.app and all of its features that allow us to build this store easily all in one platform. As you can see, Fresh Store can help you launch automated affiliate stores in minutes with the power of AI. They have integrations with Amazon, eBay, Walmart, AliExpress, and Etsy. Plus you can add your own products if you're part of affiliate program outside of these major players. For today's purposes, we're just gonna be using Amazon to show you how easy it is to get this set up. So I've already created an account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. You can create an account for free on their free trial with up to five stores, so super, super cool. Once you've logged in, you're gonna to get to your dashboard here and you simply navigate up here to stores. I don't have any stores created, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new store. Of note, you can build completely within their platform using their interface, Fresh Stores. They also seem to have a WordPress plugin where you can syndicate this to your WordPress website. We're not gonna be using WordPress, we're gonna be building completely within Fresh Stores today, just so we cover that and let you know that WordPress is an option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create new store. And there's two options here. You can create an instant store, which is an expertly created and fully populated store, fast, customizable, and ready to profit. That sounds great. But you can also start with the blank store and build all the categories, products, brands, content, and choose design yourself. For the sake of time, I'm gonna create an instant store and then show you how you can customize it. But just know you could start with a blank store. So I'm gonna choose an instant store and we're presented with this category page where we can actually pick a template for our instant store across several categories that they have available. They have everything from automotive to collectibles to home and kitchen, special interest technology, and the list goes on. Since we previously built a fully automated pet store, we're gonna do the same here for this tutorial so we can compare apples to apples. I'll go ahead and choose pets. And we'll see here, we have some pet templates that are ready to go. We can demo these if we'd like to see them. There's some different designs, different layouts, that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and choose this doggy stop store. I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And here we're presented with uh, some of the details of our store. We could choose the niche. The niche is automatically used to create content, examples of coffee, yoga, men's clothing, etc. So we'll just keep it at, actually we'll change it. Pets, pet store. The store name can be the doggy stop. Perfect. And then you can actually publish on one of their subdomains for free. And if you're on their paid plan, you can, of course, connect your custom subdomain or top level domain. We'll make the subdomain doggy stop. Okay. And what we need to do now is just click create store. This will take a couple minutes. It's going to spin up the store. It's going to build the categories, add the products, create content blog articles and all that kind of stuff. So it does take a few minutes. We'll just speed this up and meet you back once the store is created. Okay, so that just took a couple of minutes, but it looks like our store is ready to go. We get this little preview here with our domain. A screenshot will be coming soon. And we have two options here. We can log into our store or manage. I'm gonna go ahead and click manage first. And we're brought to this sort of admin uh, area here, we can see our domain. We could do some basic things like steer, clear our store catch, change the domain, refresh the screenshot, 
we can also see some basic stats about our store, about when it was created, number of products, and so on and so forth. One thing I want to show you here before we dive into the actual admin dashboard is if we go over to settings, this is where we would connect our affiliate account, which is super cool. So we've got Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Etsy, and AliExpress. Today, we're just going to connect Amazon, but just know you could connect the other affiliate programs for these platforms. And they have something called offers where it will actually show related products from other vendors like Walmart and eBay. So I think it is worth to create an affiliate program or an affiliate ID with these other vendors, but just know that this is all here, choose your country. And all you have to do is actually add your Amazon affiliate tag tracking ID, which I've already done. You can add the Amazon API keys and secrets, but it is optional. Your stores will work fully without it. So it's as simple as that. You just put your Amazon affiliate tag and I'll show you how to do that here, how to get that. Just go to Amazon associates. You sign up for an affiliate account, which is free. And then you can actually just grab your store ID name from right here, your store ID, and then simply paste it here. So that's all that you need to do. If we go back now to stores, we can see our store. The screenshot has populated. So let's go ahead and log in. So just take a second. Okay, so we've been presented with the dashboard to our store. Really nice presentation here. You get a overview of your store traffic, how many AI chips you have remaining, which we'll talk about in a little bit, the number of categories that you have in your store. So as since we've created the store, it's populated with 16 categories. Remember, we did the automatic AI powered store. It's added 90 products, 287 offers to those 90 products from two brands. It's created five blog post articles, 14 pages, industry users. Super cool. So everything that we need is here. They do have comprehensive training guides on how to pick your niche, set up your products, create SEO, find what's trending, tons of resources there. I recommend that you check it out. Under your store, I'm not gonna go through everything here, but you can quickly see we can manage our categories. So we have nutrition, dog beds and furniture, treats and health. Again, it did this for us automatically. We can see all the products in our store. This loads up, check it out. We can see all the products and then all the related offers. Remember offers are just complimentary products from other vendors. If we click, we can disable a product. If we click into a product here to edit it, we can edit everything related to this product. It also gives us some analytics right here on these pages, which is super nice. So we can know what's performing well and what's not but we can change the title. You can actually rewrite it with AI. You can change the subtitle, rewrite it with AI, and so on and so forth. You can see the content in terms, including the product highlights, the summary, the description. We can see images. If there are any, we can add additional images as well. The SEO and meta, meta tags are pre-populated and even the keywords are pre-populated based on the product. So super friendly for SEO. You can create your own meta keywords with AI. We can see the reviews. There's 106 reviews with an average score of 4.97. It's pulling all of this in for us. There's identifiers like the UPC and the EAN settings in terms of complimentary offer products and some sitemap settings like the XML settings and also some just general information about the product. Okay, so that's our products. These again, were all created for us. If you start from scratch, you could add products yourself and I'll show you how to do that here as well. There's this section called offers. As I mentioned before, offers are related products to the products in your store. So it's like an upsell, if you will, on your actual store. Now, something I want to show you here is the offer importer. We'll go ahead and click this. And we can actually just add products by keyword. So let's just say we want to add plush dog toys and we want to import it into the categories on this pre-built store our nutrition, dog beds, and furniture. So let's just say dog beds. Okay. And we want to pull this into dog beds and furniture, specifically beds. Okay. Offer source. Where do we want to get these from? Since we've connected our Amazon affiliate account only here, let's just go ahead and choose Amazon. And once we choose that, we're presented with some other options like where these are being sourced from. So we're going to choose United States which sort of categories we want to look in. So we could do pet supplies and then we can sort by best sellers. We can sort by minimum price, maximum price, minimum rating. Let's say we want a minimum rating of four and let's go ahead and hit search. 
So what this is going to do is actually going to go out and search Amazon for products based on the keywords and filters that we selected. And here we go. We can see the different products that it found. This product is in yellow. It's already been imported in our store, which is really nice to see. So we know which products have already been added to our store. The ones in green have not. So we can actually create this as a new product in our store, or we can attach it as an offer to an existing product in our store. So really nice to have both options here. We'll go ahead and hit create and we will get a notification here that a new product will be created shortly in our store. Super cool. If we were to go to products in our store, we would see this shortly. Moving down here, we can see the brands here that are in our store. So we have three brands right now, Purina, Midwest Homes for Pets, and Rachel Ray Nutrish. As we add additional brands, they will be added here. And then there's a section on the site that's pre-populated where you can actually search by brand, which is super cool and see all the products in that particular brand. And I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Moving on, what I really like about this software is you can actually generate blog posts and articles related to your products and then add products to those articles. So as we can see here, the AI has created about five blog posts for us related to our niche, which is super cool. The importance of dog training, how to choose the best dog food and so on and so forth. We can edit these articles. If we click into edit, we can edit everything about them from the title to the subtitle to the link title. We can generate everything with AI. We can edit the content. We can edit the images, the SEO and meta tags, all again, customizable with AI. And we can just decide whether this is shown in our site map, the published date, and there's some additional info here. Now under iTools, we can actually, since we're on articles, we can go to the article generator and we can easily create new articles like how to care for a new puppy as an example. And we'll leave the publish date blank because we don't want this to publish yet because we can actually set the publish date once we create this. So let's go ahead and create the article. And what's gonna happen here is the AI is gonna generate a new article with the topic, how to care for your puppy. This will only take a minute or two. And once it's done, we can see the article and edit all the content with it at our own flair. And I'll even show you how to add products from our store right into the article so that people can click and purchase products from your blog post. Super cool. I'll let this run and I'll keep moving through here. You can choose the categories for your articles here. I don't think there's any article categories that have been created yet, but if you wanted to categorize your articles by healthcare, training, that kind of thing, you can create these different article categories and then users will be able to filter your blog post by the article categories. Moving down to design, there's a lot that you can do. Again, we're not using the WordPress importer. We're actually using their native builder, which is really nice, but you can customize the header top bar, the footer article links, the sign up buttons, the footer text link, the affiliate disclosures, custom HTML across the headers of footers. We can change the color scheme. They have lots of different color schemes here. Look like you use custom CSS as well. You can change the logo type the logo icon, enable the footer newsletter. So there's a newsletter built into this so you can collect email addresses. You can change the images associated with your site, including the store logo, the default social image, the store icon, and you can even change the details for how the products are displayed on your, displayed on your site, how many images on your product detail page, all of the sort of verbiage around the different products and the checkout, you can change all that language. So it's just super, super cool. You can change the color schemes. We touched on this a little bit, but they have all these different sort of color palettes that you can choose from. You can change your store icon here um, very easily just by uploading a new PNG or JP, JPEG file. You can check out your traffic, edit your XML sitemap, which is super cool. How many products are showing in the sitemap, all that kind of stuff. Moving down here, RSS feeds. This is a really nice feature. You can create a... Well, it actually automatically creates RSS feeds for your store. So you get an RSS feed for new products, old products, updated products, random products, and popular products. So you can take these RSS feeds and then syndicate them out to social networks, different blogs, you name it. There's a lot you can do with RSS feeds. It's really nice that it creates these RSS feeds for you automatically. You keep tab on your users. Of course, this is a test account, so we don't have any users here, but you'd be able to see by any users that have signed up through the site, through the newsletter, and you can even manage messages here as well. Going down to reports, we can see store visitors, paid traffic, countries, and activity logs. Again, we're not gonna have any data in here, 
but you'd be able to see all your store visitors here in the recent store visits as well as page traffic. And I'll click into this page just so you can see what it looks like. There's no records found here. Okay. Down to maintenance, there's a few things that you can do. You can clear the cache, you can update redirects and your store info. And then under settings, there's store settings, product settings, offer settings, social settings, for instance, social settings here, you can connect all of your socials for your brand on your affiliate store. The final option down here is tools. It looks like you can import data into your store from Amazon or other affiliate programs through CSV. So if you wanted to populate your store with your own products, you could certainly do that. And you could also do it up here. If you go to products, we'll see all of our products that are in our store. We can just add a new product just like this. So if you want to sell something that's maybe not on Amazon and you have an affiliate link for that, you could just create the product completely manually here rather than importing it using the offer importer tool here under AI tools. So there's a lot of ways to add products. So let's go back to our dashboard here and take a look at what our site actually looks like. Actually, let's move back to this page and we can actually click this link and check out our store. Again, you can customize all of this, but this looks really nice out of the box. We can of course change all these images, but right here on the main page, we're seeing special offers. We're seeing sign up for a newsletter and explore our articles. So we're guiding people to the discounts that the discounted products that are available the expert guides and things that we've created. You can search by brands. So we see the Purina and a Rachel Ray Nutrish. If we click on the Purina brand, we'll see all the products here that are under the Purina category. Let's go back home by clicking the paw here. And on the homepage, it looks really nice. We can see the featured products. You can control which products are featured. You can see the featured category. So joint supplements, flea and ticks, heartburn prevention. You can see the articles. You can see special offers, testimonials, and there's a nice footer as well as a newsletter sign up here in the bottom. Now let's click into one of these products like this dog bed that we just added. And look how nice this is. It's pulling in all the data from Amazon, including the discounted price and the non-discounted price. So it's showing you the discount is pulling in the reviews, the description, the product highlights, the images, you're able to share it on social, there's share checkout, ease returns, and there's more description here. Now, this is really cool down below. It's showing related products that you also might like. So it's upselling automatically for you and creating all this content. If you want to actually purchase this product, this is where our affiliate ID comes in. We would just click this and it opens up a new window in Amazon. And as you can see, our affiliate ID is tagged on this link. So if somebody were to purchase this through our store, we would get credit for the purchase. Okay, so let's head back here. Just a couple quick things to cover AI chips. So with your account, you're actually given 500,000 monthly AI chips, which is super generous. It takes maybe a thousand chips per AI request. So you can easily generate tons of article descriptions and blog posts with the allotted AI chips, but you can also buy an additional 250,000 chips or a million chips for a reasonable price here. Again, on their basic plan, you do get up to five stores. So if you wanted to create multiple affiliate stores and link them together, you certainly could do that. We're only using one of our five stores. This was a super quick run through of this product, but I hope that this gives you a sense of how you can quickly and easily spin up a AI powered affiliate store on with Amazon, you can, you know, do Walmart and eBay and Etsy as well, or your own affiliate program manually by adding products to the store. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, comment with any questions and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much.